I'm Ish or Goomba Fan One. If you want to be formal, Couch. Yes, hello. My name is Osborne. Um, I ran this game around uh, a few months last year, um, and I'm very excited to see it here at a, at a GDQ with Ish running it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to start. Yeah. I mean, that's all <laughs> I mean, for me. That's that's all for me. We're good to start. Okay. Do you want me to count me down? Yeah, of course. So okay. timing will begin once Ish presses over oh, to save game here for a new game. And when I press yes yeah. or enter. Wonderful. So timing will start in five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right. So just to start. Okay, I saw locked. Immediately. Which I, I did do the thing that prevents this from happening, so... Wow. Can I restart the game? We absolutely love seeing this. It's the first time that it happens. That's not... Yeah, because I saw that ideal. you... I definitely saw that you, like, started and uh, restarted the file to prevent this from happening beforehand. I did do that. Yeah. But, you know, it's all right. Maybe I will try again. This is not starting. I'm just doing this to prevent the soft lock, which I did do, but that didn't work. <laughs> no worries, I'm sure. just, there, there is a little cutscene skip that you can do after the bottom right thing blinks five times. But it's sometimes soft locks you, but only in the very first one. Mm -hmm. Do we want to try this again? Yes, I'm just gonna be patient and just wait until I can actually see the cutscene. All right, wonderful. All right. So, timing will start at the same place. So, five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's see if it was actually gonna happen this time. All right, wonderful. Okay, so immediately in this first section, what it's just gonna do is just uh, exit back to the main menu and then continue the file. Um, and what that does is just uh, skips the opening cutscene for this area. Um, and pretty much at the beginning of most like new areas in this game, that's where you're going to be seeing Ish do in order to uh, skip the cutscene that introduces a specific area. Um, and so each area is kind of uh, split into two parts. This is the first part of Swamp. Um, there's not much to be said here, just you know, basic movement, you know, jumping and um, jumping and moving that you're going to be seeing here. As the game progresses, we're going to get more and more abilities. Um, but even with very simple movement right here, it's just doing pretty precise movement in order to skip a specific cutscene um, as he goes along the edge of that bridge. And you're seeing right now that he's just standing on invisible level geometry. Um, he I'm successfully, so if I missed that. Yeah, he successfully <laughs> did a really good skip. Um, and what that was, is essentially, um, every single uh, level in this game, as I said, is split into two parts. Um, there's just pretty much like a huge creature or animal that brings you from the first part to the second. Um, the first of this being a uh, turtle that uh, carries you across this lake. Um, but, of course, you have to uh, activate a cutscene in order for the animal to come, come into view. Um, but the actual hitbox or the level geometry f to land on the animal um, is present from the moment that you enter the level, the moment that you load in. So you don't actually don't, you don't, you don't have to watch that cutscene at all. You can just uh, skip it and then immediately go and land on the animal as if it were there. Um, and that pretty much, that does, it's pretty much free time save around like four to six seconds every single time. They're short cutscenes, relatively speaking, but uh, well, they I'm, add up. I'm about to skip another cutscene, but this one is incredibly easy, mm -hmm. which I just did. <laughs> I, I walked up. around it, so. Yeah. And <laughs> this is a very skip heavy game. If you've seen the run, I know at least one of you have. So I'm about to do another skip, actually. <laughs> yeah, I love the I love this one. It's just skip after skip. Uh, that first skip, what uh, Ish did, is essentially skipping what is called discovery cutscenes. Uh, every single time that you enter an area, there's going to be uh, pretty much a wide shot that shows you like the whole area, um, and those are discovery cutscenes, and they're able to uh, skip those uh, just by walking around them for the most part. There are certain ones that you can't skip, and that was just another skip right there. The Good job. You're supposed to, in like each area, get three orbs. Orbs? At least three. There's more than three, but you're supposed to get three. But we're going to be skipping a lot of that. There's a couple levels where we do have to do that. But generally, we're going to be skipping them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this first level, um, you were just able to do standard uh, movements. It's not until this next level you actually start to get new abilities. 
Um, and of course, as I said, we're going to start uh, the file again in order to skip the opening cutscene for this new area. I'm being so safe. <laughs> I'm waiting so long. <laughs> no worries. I mean, ra better that than getting soft lock, you know? All right, so I'm going to do another skip coming up here, which is another cutscene skip. I'm going to go right instead of forward here, and I'm going to climb up here. And this is another really easy one. You can do it at home. You can. You can do it at home. Actually, Omno's on sale right now. It's like $7 on Steam. Oh, that's beautiful. So, but now we're going to have, like, this is the most important part of the run because you're going to see us doing this a lot. Yeah. Um, so this is one of our new abilities that we're going to be getting. That's a dash ability. This dash ability is pretty broken. Um, and with it, we're actually going to be doing some pretty uh, specific skips throughout the entire run, um, a few of which are kind of frame dependent or like uh, frame rate dependent. Um, we typically want to play this game with a 240 or 120 uh, FPS cap. Um, at least when I uh, played it, I played with a 240 cap. So we're, uh, Ish is going to be trying to time his uh, jumps here so we can get onto this ledge. And then after we get onto the ledge, we're going to be doing what is known as a ledge warp. Um, essentially, um, you can see a lot of these towers are built so they have uh, several layers or levels of ledges. Um, so. Uh, Isha's going to be going here, and then in order to perform the ledge warp, you have to dash first uh, like that. That was a good one. That was good. So that, we have to do another one right here. And, uh, oh, don't worry. We can back this up. There we go. Perfect. Let's there go. Okay. I, the, the, I struggle more on the getting up instead of actually doing it because I've done it so much. <laughs> but the getting up is the harder part. Yeah. Um, so that specific trick is a little frame rate dependent. It's not that it's impossible on lower frame rates. It's just that I have found it to be a lot easier on higher frame rates when you're dashing. I've done it successfully on as low as 30 FPS, but I usually get it more consistent. I also just did another skip, by the way. Yeah, that's a really good I one. Went, I went a bit right instead. I dashed over that because the cutscene for... Obviously, we're not on another animal, which we are supposed to be on. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be on a little... Not a little guy, a big guy. A big uh, a Tyrannosaurus big... Rex of, I, of sorts. No, I, it's kind more of like a... What are the long ones? The one with the long... Oh, those, yeah, those, those guys. The those, guys those guys. These guys. I'm supposed to be on one of those. I'm supposed yeah. to be on their head. I got my dinosaurs mixed up. You're so right. Or dinosaur-like creatures, I should say. Um, but yeah, those ledge warps, uh, they're not impossible on lower FPSs. They're just less consistent. I found them to be much, very, very consistent on, like, 120 or 240 FPS caps. Also, um, you can just uh, die there and immediately get uh, warped back up to the save point for this uh, to beginning of this level. It feels faster, so I do it. This is not intended either. Yeah. Which also skips a cutscene. Yeah, another discovery cutscene using a ledge warp right there. This is one of the few areas where you actually have to get three orbs in order to move on. Um, this is Gronorous. Yeah, but even then, you actually still manage to skip a fair amount of this level, even with getting the three orbs. I am going to try to do a... Which I missed. Okay, if you're in mid-dash when you do that, which I'm not beginning at all, if you're mid-dash, you can continue dashing. You can't move, but you can dash and jump, mm -hmm. which doesn't really save a lot, but I'm about to do another skip, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This one is pretty simple. You, you, I did that really Ooh. wonderfully. That's actually a lot more finicky than Ish makes those themes. So that's really impressive. Oh, that one I've always been really good at. <laughs> yeah. Um, and coming up in this next area, we're going to just uh, uh, finish out this area by uh, moving on to the next. Um, what, is, what is the name of this next area that, I, that we're going to? I do not that? know the names of any of the areas. I know, I know. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, I do not know the names. No I, worries. I can see them. Is there a pilgrimage? There's the, like the pilgrimage. Oh yeah, you're you're very right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, the beginning or the something? Is it the beginning? Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, uh, during this uh, opening cutscene, every single area once you get to the second half will end in this uh, lovely cutscene where we um, transport ourselves to the next area. But I think this is probably a good first time uh, for donations since we're just going to be repeating a lot of what we did in order to skip cutscenes in the next area. Absolutely, and we have $10 from Hermanator, who says, best of luck, Ish, my fellow Inator. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ishinator, let's, let's go. go. Ishinator is let's my go. Twitch. 
Um, I think I have time for one more. Yeah, we have $10 from Kivi, who says, I never played Omno myself, but the game looks really beautiful. It's really fun for speedrunning. This That's is amazing. like what I, this is my favorite speedrunning game. I'm doing a little trick right now, which is just pressing E after. But this is where it introduces the surf mechanic, mm -hmm. which is, it becomes another vital point because there is a lot of surfaces. And if you go down on surfaces, it is much faster than dashing because of the momentum you gain. Also, I'm going to be doing this little tutorial for about a minute so you can continue with donations. Absolutely. And Kiwi finishes by saying good luck and much fun for the run-ish. Thank you. We have $5 from Lena Beckworm, who says, I absolutely loved this game in my casual playthrough. Can't wait to see it absolutely destroyed on stage. We have $25 from Sakla, who says, hype to see Omno on the big stage. Good luck on the run, go fast-ish. Hi, Sakla. We have some people chiming in on some of our lovely incentives. We have $50 from Will Gallant, who says, wait, pizza elemental? You've caught my interest. And speaking of that pizza elemental, uh, yes, that is for Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire. We have a uh, incentive open for a bonus pizza elemental boss fight. And folks, I, I gotta admit, I don't know what a pizza elemental is, but I am incredibly curious. We're at $5,900 for that. Uh, we only have a little over $9,000 to go, so let's get it in to see a pizza elemental? Okay, I just did a skip, a slow motion skip, and then I just did another skip, a cutscene skip. So I, I went on the thing and then jumped up, so I went over like a slow motion thing. Uh, yeah, like a trigger to And then I went to the left and I skipped a cutscene, and now I'm doing another skip. Yeah, this is like the biggest skip in the game. Uh, this is large. Yeah, if it's just gonna turn his FPS into 30, this only works on 30 FPS. Position himself in a p pretty specific spot on this plant, and then immediately interact with the plant once he's positioned. Boom. There oh, let's see. I need to turn this back. <laughs> Did that work? I mean, it worked, work. but let's see if that gave us enough distance. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Which means y'all can applaud. Let's go. Yeah, so... Okay, but now I'm going to do another skip. Also, I am using the this thing to go down faster, because I fall faster. Mm -hmm. This one I find difficult. I usually try to, like, uh, get the, the first skip in order to just give me enough distance to land on the final platform. I did miss the skip, but I did get the checkpoint, so I can reload the game. Oh, that's great. And just, I, I, it wastes like 10 seconds, but it does still skip it. Hey, we love so. backups. We love backups in this house. Well, it's never really a backup for me because I always miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you can probably do some more donations right now. Yeah, this is a good one. Absolutely, and I have $10 from Tai2, who says, Greetings from the UK. Been looking forward to Omno all week. This was my first completed speedrun, and glad to finally see it on the GDQ stage. Good luck on the run. Thank you. Thank you. We have $512 from Moradin, who says, Show the frames, save the animals. Uh, and folks, we do have Save and Kill the Animals open once again this GDQ. Uh, Save the Animals is currently pulling ahead in the lead uh, by uh, roughly $2,000, but we have plenty of time for that if you would like to uh, see some animals maybe and not make it off of Zebus. Nice. All right, so this is... The desert. We're gonna, these are the last two worlds, but these are also the longest worlds. This is going to be like 20 minutes, these two worlds. Yeah, so um, this we're going to uh, gain another ability here, which is essentially just teleporting. This is um, also RNG. This is where RNG gets involved. <laughs> yeah, so right here you can see that there's, there are these teleporting pads up on specific walls that you can just immediately teleport to if you're within a specific uh, distance of them. Um, the distance is generally very generous, um, but of course you want to be within a specific distance of them. and. Uh, Right there, you can see that uh, Ish was able to uh, go back before that cutscene ended in order to uh, save a little bit of time on the movement. But there is a long animation. You, you could see both. I'm two and three right now. There's a long animation. This is a big momentum keeper thing. There's a long animation and a short animation, and I want the short animation. That was really good. Yeah, that was really nice. Um, very wonderful uh, execution on the, uh, on the movement there in order to keep momentum. 
this is like the one Discovery cutscene that you, like, you just can't skip. Yeah. Um, I, it's unfortunate, but like, it, it's, it's fine. And it's only like four seconds long. Well, you might be able to. There, this game definitely has a lot more people can do with it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, you can definitely like theoretically uh, skip it, but I don't think we have a way of skipping it that doesn't just waste more time than watching the cutscene itself. I'm going to do another big skip, though. Yes. Um, and this will involve uh, ledge warps as well. Going to go up here um, and then surf down to the bottom ledge right here and then ledge warp right here to get up to the top. Ledge warp again. Perfect. First. No, oh. No, no. It's, it's, it's kind of luck based. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, kind of luck based. Yeah. Sometimes the game just doesn't uh, want to give it to you. I thought it was going to be first try there, but there, there we, go. we go. Perfect. OK, <laughs> now we're going to do a skip. Another skip right here. Which is another dinosaur skip. Let's go. This one is like a velociraptor, yeah. more like that carries you to the next area. It's very easy to just jump off the edge there and just miss the platform. I've done it a lot. Oh, for sure. Um, th those specific ledge warps are things that are, I think are the ones that I struggle with the most in this game. They feel like the hardest ones, personally, for me. I mean, they're all kind of like RNG. I'm sure it's not actually RNG, but it's it's like to the point where it's basically RNG. You can do more donations now. Absolutely. Uh, I have $25 from Alexis that says, I think that prize wizard cast a spell on me because I feel compelled to donate. Uh, and folks, we did roll over our, our prize block during uh, that last uh, set of runs. So uh, those Zelda prizes have lapsed, but we have some cool new Kirby prizes, which uh, I think that everybody knows means lots of very cute plushes. We also have a bob -omb Battlefield miniature, which is like, uh, incredible. It's just like a little diorama that's, it's pop on Battlefield for Mario 64. Like, what, what more could you want? Uh, but uh, be sure to get your donations in, get entered automatically to win some of these uh, wonderful prizes. Thank you so much. I was looking earlier, I saw the bob on Battlefield, and I thought that was really cool, but then I saw the little, um, the Kirby with a paintbrush. <laughs> Bro, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing donations this year. Okay, I'm gonna do another little skip. Um, it's, if I walk too far forward, okay. Uh, oh, there, oh, there you go, perfect. That was really good. That was really easy. Though. Yeah, so using that teleport was able to just um, skip the discovery cutscene and immediately go towards uh, the pretty much center of the level. Um, this is another one where we do have to collect all the orbs, not all the orbs, that's three orbs. Yeah, um, there's just no way that we can get to the next area really without the three orbs because it unlocks it. Well, there might be. Yeah. This one I can, see more of there might be. This one, I, I feel like it's very open. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a very open level. We're going to teleport here, grab the second orb. That was a really quick teleport, very nice movement there. And uh, do you use a ledge warp to get yes. up to this one? Yeah. I don't know the other here. way to do it. Yeah, there, I think there is another way to do it, but I, I don't know. Okay. You, you would always do a ledge Unlucky. warp. Unlucky. Yeah, this ledge warp is also kind of finicky. You also have to come at it at a specific angle. Okay. Like, ledge warps in this game, the reason that they're hard is because you have to have the same, the, like, a specific distance, a specific angle, and a specific timing for when you um, um, dash in order to perform it. And so, generally speaking, especially starting out, they can be pretty difficult tricks. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, this is just me being lucky or unlucky, because I'm teleporting a lot. But I'm going to be doing one of the harder tricks of the run. And even so, I use a easier strat that loses like two seconds. Mm -hmm. But I'm, but it's still a very yeah. There's a lot Actually, of parts to it. I want to see how you do it because this was always one that I uh, struggled with. All right, you dash in there. You dash into that teleporting, and for some reason, you can just land on that geometry inside of it. That's a pretty good one. This Wonderful. is what I do differently. Oh, yeah. Ooh, actually. You have to go out there. You can't just do it or else you will fall off. Mm. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is, that is something that, I, that you do slightly differently that I've never done. But I'm happy I got that first try. Yeah, yeah that's a really difficult skip. So I, I would actually that deserves some applause right there. I do have to jump off because I, did not, I didn't open the gate, so I did not unlock the teleporter, which... Well, not the, tele, the teleportation bad, which... I need to teleport, but I did get the checkpoint, so I can just jump off and then respawn there. That's good. That trick saves like 
20 to 30 seconds, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's a good, it's a hefty time save. That's for sure. Though it's not like the most devious trick of the run. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting that in the three part dragon skip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which the dragon I'm skip. nervous about because if I miss, I'm, I lose two minutes. <laughs> yeah. I, for me, like the, the cutscene for the dragon skip, I just, I just let it play out for me. But I want to see if. If you plan on doing it. No, it's really just the one before that. It's the jump to get there. Oh, you're so right. That's also a pretty difficult one. Because of that right there, I can, to be safe, just go on to the, the, t the checkpoint that's right beside it. But the other one, it's super out of the way to get a checkpoint on the way there. So you don't. Yeah, that's true. Um, and you're all y'all y'all are gonna this is gonna make more sense when we actually get to it, but um, of course. This run is filled with skips, but also filled with really finicky and difficult skips. Um, and so we're going to be seeing how Ish fares with those when we get to them. This one's really finicky, especially the second part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're into the last area. We're going to get one more ability here. But of course, um, Ish is going to, yet again, go back to the main menu and start the file. That's the last in time order to doing that. skip the opening cutscene for this area. Um, and I really, really like the ability that you get in this area. I think it's one of the most fun ones in the whole game. Um, it's the flight ability. or uh, it's, it's less flight and more float. Um, and so uh, as long as you're within midair, um, you can use your uh, staff in order to uh, float, along, uh, float along. And sometimes there are breezes that, you, that the game will expect you to follow in order to keep up your height or keep up a certain amount of speed. There we go. Now, Just you can do an animation cancel there and in the other ones. I did it in one specifically. I don't know why you can do it there and not the other ones, but there's a different animation cancel that I can do there and in the first one. But I, the first time I tried it, it soft locked me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just, just gave up instantly. As you can see here, the float ability allows, like, you slowly go down as the, as you use the float ability, but you can actually, it gives you a, a good amount of distance, so we're actually going to exploit right here in order to get to the very bottom of this wind to bring us back up like that. Perfect. That's an amazing uh, skip right there. Um, the hitbox for this wind area is a little bit more generous than it may seem, um, but even then, that's a really impressive skip right there. But we're going to be abusing the float ability in pretty uh, unique ways. Though sometimes it does glitch out. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it glitches out and just you just like do a 180 and just float the wrong way, which might really mess me up when doing that skip earlier I was talking about, the hard one. I am about to do another discovery skip, which this one's super simple. Just go up here, go up here, and now we're up to the, the boss, which is the squirrel. Oh, this guy. Oh, I love him. This is my, this is my boy. That's, that's my, my boy. boy. That's my boy right there. Let's go. I love that squirrel. That's the MVP of the run. And this is a, another skip, which I'm happy I got first try. You're supposed to. I don't even know what you're supposed yeah. to do, but you're not supposed to do that. These are these are some nice areas. We are going to collect some orbs here in order to um, activate the uh, the final puzzle of this area. But um, even then, as you can see. Um, we're not getting the orbs in intended ways because even when you have to go out of your way to collect them, we still have ways to uh, perform skips or exploits with the abilities that we have, which is something that I really like about this game. You know, even when you have to go uh, in a more quote intended way, you still have uh, skips to your disposal. I like how all the skips are all unique, so yeah. it keeps it really interesting. It does. It really so does. like I'm about to do like a skip after this memorization part that's completely different from anything we've seen. Mm -hmm. And also, this is a memorization part. You're supposed to like go over there, and I, I forget where it's been so long, but I do... Yeah, thank God. You. you can just... This, is, this puzzle has a specific combination. It's the exact same combination every single time. Each level uh, will require you to enter a new combination. Um, you, the, the way you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like go over to where the teleport is and then on the other side of that pillar it'll show you the combination in question but like we don't need to do that um, we already know what the combination is so we can just uh, cut out the middleman here and put it in ourselves when when it's doing this thing I can still actually press the button so I do do that mm -hmm. and now we're going to a, a funky little skip ooh this one I love it so essentially, we're going to exploit the momentum that this uh, projector will give us. 
Oh, I really messed up, but I saved that. Oh, you saved I it. Think. We will see. I don't know why I did it so early. So there's I a specific, my hand there's a bit. specific teleporter that we want to get into, into range of here. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> I saved that. I saved that. I saved you that. saved it. Yeah. So um, these are pretty much uh, cannons right here. Um, we're going to be exporting them a lot. But this is another skip. Yeah, another skip. Which, if you let go and then instantly go back, you have a lot more control. Yeah. Very nice. And now That's here's nice. the... <laughs> here's the infamous dragon skip. Here's, here's the parts. skip that I'm really worrying about. I, I, I do have an estimate that would allow me to mess it up, though. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully. But I don't want to. Well, let's put our fingers crossed. Would you like some silent time? Ah, that's okay. All right, wonderful. Um, this is the first part. Yeah, so this is the first part. We're gonna try and get. And I got go. the glitch. I got the glitch. I got the glitch. Oh. I got the glitch. That was the glitch. That was the glitch, and that ruins everything, and it's all over. Oh no. But I do now have to get the discovery yeah. animation. That's really unfortunate because I haven't got the glitch in all of practicing, and I did. Oh, well, yeah. I only did like three runs. To my knowledge, I'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint in the middle of this area that you can grab. Yeah, which I'm um, going to do that right now. Yeah, just for some safety. Um, so we ha thankfully, um, if you mess up a skip, you can just go back to the most recent checkpoint. The recent checkpoint here, of course, it wastes time, but it, it's not like a, a, a marathon run under where you have to like go back to the previous area, redo all the skips you just did. Um, and so we're gonna see how long. It, we're gonna see uh, if um, if we can get it on the second try here. I wasn't really banking on getting the glitch. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I'm just thinking I'm doing it. So this is the first part. Oh, I really messed that up. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was terrible. I haven't messed up that jump in a long time other than the glitch. It's that marathon luck. That's what we have to say. That wasn't luck. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, uh, I, I still got this. You still got this. No worries. In, uh, we got time. We got time. No worries. My practice run, I that got should be good. That should be sub 29. Good. Okay. So. First part. <laughs> Is good. This one is the. This one is the. I think the most difficult part. This is the second part. Uh, yep. So essentially, we're trying to surf in order to get enough momentum in order to blast ourselves over. But sometimes you just slow down or completely yeah. stop. That's why it feels like pseudo RNG. That should work. That should work. All right, hard part done. Okay, but now it's the other hard part. <laughs> Hardest part done. Well, we have the checkpoint here, so I you did up. get the checkpoint to be safe. This is, I, I really only get one shot at this. Did you get it? I did get it. Oh, let's go. So essentially what that did is it skips a cutscene that, um, that makes the dragon appear. Um, and of course, instead, as we, as we have done with all the other animals, the dragon, dragon's hitbox is just still there. So we're going to ride this invisible dragon over to uh, the final area of the game. I know I said there was a lot of dinosaurs in this game. I didn't actually say that we're, we skipped them all. Yeah. We didn't see a single animal bringing us to a single place. Well, I mean, the squirrel kind of kind of well, popped yeah, off. The squirrel, the squirrel is the MVP of the run. The squirrel kind of kind of got to play at the game right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, so. And the little flipper guy after Cronerus. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would say right now is probably the last part of the game where we can have a donation or two. Absolutely, and I have $50 from Doubleville, who says, that Omno run is fantastic. Keep it up, less than three. Thank you. We also have $25 from Anonymous, who says, keep it up, Ish, loving the finesse of those teleports. Wonderful. One more. One more. We have $25 from Anonymous, who says, thank you for hosting this charity, and thank you for all the fun experiences. Good luck with the final day of SGDQ 2024. I hope I get one of the Kirby-themed prizes. One more. Sure thing. We have $100 from G.E.R. Repetro, who says, thank you for this awesome week so far and the exciting hours to come. Greetings to the German Restream. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to be doing a skip, which I know you've heard that a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. We but love the skips, though. This one, I go up here. And I always miss it the first try. 100% of the time, I miss it the first try. And we get it the second try. I, Let's go. Very consistently. This is, uh, I messed that up, but I can salvage this. Which I haven't actually hit the, the good version of that in so long, and I did. 
which is getting onto the top platform instead of like the bottom area, so I gain more momentum. And I I just skipped a cutscene. Yeah. This I'm, is a really difficult skip. This is not a dip, this is a super easy skip, I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was for me. This was really difficult for me when I got it. Well, when I first learned it, I much like with the um, the second part of the dragon skip, I forgot after snowball skip to put my FPS back up. <laughs> so dragon skip took me two hours. And I'm probably the only person to have completed it. I that you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Pro essentially, there's a little piece of geometry that is uh, surfed off of there, and we want to get as much distance as we can to get close to a checkpoint that's going to be on this ledge right here. I'm probably the only person that's done dragon skip in 30 FPS though. <laughs> and also, this is literally impossible. I was getting nowhere near until I noticed. Mm -hmm. But this is going to work. There we go. Beautiful. Now, this is a little... You remember this thing. Yeah. So, usually, if you do this, it disappears, but it activates this and prevents you from doing skips. But if you just do it far away enough, it's fine. You're not supposed to make that jump either. And I'm going to do the exact same jump right here. Well, I mean, I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to... We're going to attempt but, it. <laughs> We're going to attempt it. It's okay. We can just try again. We got time. There we okay, go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to do a different skip. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, this is Pretty obvious, easy. and they know you can do that, but they don't know that... Okay, see, so you heard me getting the yeah, checkpoint. The checkpoint. I got the checkpoint fall. at the very top. So now I go here, and I'm right here. We can do, like, one donation. Absolutely. And I have $20 from Michikus with a very classic donation. Greetings from Germany. Yeah. Hi, Germany. Hello, Germany. We get to Walmart. <laughs> Absolutely. I have $5 from Foxen in a Boxen, who says, so impressed you can do this before 5 in the morning. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I got to like a two hour nap. Yeah. Oh. You know, a power nap is always Which was not in enough. Need. <laughs> and I'm still freezing. Yeah. I lost my only long sleeve item. Oh no. Um, so this final cutscene right here, we're going to be going up to this uh, building and time is coming up pretty soon. Um, time is going to end uh, the moment that we enter this building and it fades to white. Um, Actually, I'm pretty sure. I thought that initially. I think it's the first white flash. I messed that up. All right. So time is going to be coming up now. Now. There we go. Perfect. 30, 42. That's pretty good time. Yeah. I'm still upset. I didn't get my, uh, my practice run. When uh, I was just sitting over there. I got sub 29. <laughs> and I was like, OK, that's not going to happen, though. Hey, hey. It was a pretty good run, all things considered. It was a, it was a very good showing of the skips in this game. Yeah, um, I, I recommend all of you to, if like this is much more easy to pick up than it seems, join the Discord. It'd be lovely if you tried. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to have more people running the game. Like, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter as well. Those are two are very important. Uh, and yeah. Um, I'm Osborne. You can follow me on Twitter as well. With uh, um, I don't, I haven't run this game in a long time, but um, I, I'm in the Discord and I keep up with the community and what they're doing. And uh, uh, this this game, this community has a lot of really good people, and this is a it's a really good run. Um, and so, and, and thank you, Ish, for having me on comms. Also, uh, shout out to my mom. Just none of n no one else, no one else. Just just my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all from us. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all from us. Thank you so much for having us. 